Hello students, today we are going to start this new chapter that is heat. Uh, in last chapter 3, you have learned that woolen clothes are made from animal fibers and the cotton clothes are made from plant fibers. Now in this chapter, you will come to know why we prefer to use woolen clothes during the winter season and this cotton cloth during the summer season. So students, in our day-to-day -day life, we come across a number of objects. Some objects are hot, some are cold, like tea, dia, they all are the hot objects. If you talk about the ice cream and the ice, they are the cold object. So, how do you decide whether the object is hot or cold? Yes, we often decide it by touching the objects. But, my question is, is our sense of touch Reliable? Let us find the answer. Take 3 tumbler of water. Uh, mark it as A, B and C. In tumbler A, put cold water and hot water in tumbler B. Mix some cold and hot water in mug or the tumbler C. Now dip your left hand in mug A or the container A having the cold water and the right hand in container B having the hot water. After keeping the hands in both the container for 2 to 3 minutes, put both the hands simultaneously in container C having the lukewarm water. What do you feel? Now you must be confused. Why? Because one of your hand means the left hand will be feeling that water hot but your right hand might be feeling it cold. So, now your answer is very clear. It means that our sense of touch is not reliable. We need something to check the temperature of the object. Students, in the previous slide, you have seen that touch is not a reliable method to know the temperature of any object. So, student, what is temperature? Actually, measure of degree of hotness and coldness of any object is called temperature. And a reliable device which is used to measure the temperature is called thermometer. In this chapter, we will learn about two types of thermometer, clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer. This clinical thermometer is used to measure the body temperature of humans and animals. The clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer, they both are mercury based thermometer. So first of all, we will know about the construction of the clinical thermometer. A clinical thermometer is formed of a long and narrow glass tube with a bulb at its one end. This bulb is filled with mercury. The glass tube encloses a thin capillary tube. The capillary tube has a kink just above a little above the bulb. Here in this figure, this kink is written as constriction and two scales that is Celsius and Fahrenheit scales are shown on the thermometer. The range of Celsius scale on the clinical thermometer is 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius and that of Fahrenheit scale is 94 degree Fahrenheit to 108 degree Fahrenheit. Now, how this clinical thermometer is being used? Before using this clinical thermometer, it must be washed and dry. Then, it, uh, one or two jerks are given to make sure that the mercury in the capillary tube has fallen well. Why? Because a kink is present in the clinical thermometer. This kink is present because this kink prevents the backflow of the mercury. So, to for means for falling down the, the for the falling down of the temperature we give jerk to this thermometer now put the bulb of the thermometer under the tongue for 1 minute take it out and read the temperature the temperature of the human body is always uh, 37 degree celsius or 98.6 degree fahrenheit and if the body temperature is above 37 degrees Celsius, it means the person is suffering from fever. So, now coming to 
the laboratory thermometer but before coming to the laboratory thermometer we must know some precautions while using the clinical thermometer that thermometer must be washed properly with some antiseptic before using it the second thing is the it should be uh, used very carefully because it contains mercury and mercury is poisonous and third thing is while giving jerks one should take in care that it shouldn't hit any object in the surrounding then while taking the thermometer inside the mouth don't laugh or talk or do or don't do any actions because this can lead to the breakage of thermometer and which may release the poisonous mercury into the mouth and note the reading in the clear light now coming to the laboratory thermometer this laboratory thermometer is actually the main difference between the clinical and laboratory thermometer is this laboratory thermometer lacks kink no kink is present in this laboratory thermometer it consists of a very thin capillary tube of glass which is surrounded by thick and supportive glass walls the upper end of the capillary is closed after evacuation and the lower end is drawn into a delicate bulb like shape and with a thin glass tube the laboratory thermometer is generally used to measure the temperature ranging from minus 10 degree centigrade to 110 degree celsius so the this uh, stem of thermometer has marked as horizontal lines to read the particular temperature and these marks are also known as calibrations so some precautions are also there to use by using the thermometer laboratory thermometer the bulb of thermometer should be kept vertical and in contact with the object whose temperature is to be measured it should not touch the bottom or the sides of the container second one is the reading of temperature should be taken without removing the thermometer from its position why it is so because there is no kink if suppose you will take out the thermometer from any solution or any substance whose temperature you want to measure the if you will take out the thermometer then the mercury will fall down and you will not be able to read the uh, temperature so this these are the some of the precautions which you have to follow while using the clinical thermometer and the laboratory thermometer there are three scales of measurement of temperature these are degree celsius degree fahrenheit and kelvin on the celsius scale the freezing point of water is 0 degree celsius whereas its boiling point is 100 degree celsius so this scale is calibrated from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius on the fahrenheit scale the freezing point of water is 32 degree fahrenheit whereas its boiling point is 212 degree fahrenheit so this scale is calibrated from 32 degree fahrenheit to 212 degree fahrenheit and here are the some conversion formula for converting the celsius scale into fahrenheit scale and fahrenheit scale into celsius scale and the last one is used for converting the celsius scale into kelvin kelvin scale so students before coming to know about the difference between the clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer we should know the similarity between the clinical thermometer and the laboratory thermometer they both are mercury based thermometer and they both are used to measure the temperature then this uh, why this mercury is used in this thermometer this mercury is the only metal which is liquid at room temperature and it has very uh, high boiling point and it is very sensitive to heat or uh, uh, means if suppose uh, a, a very small amount of heat is given to the mercury it expands very efficiently and uh, one more thing is there it is shiny in nature and it doesn't stick to the glass tube also that's why this mercury is used in this thermometer now coming to the differences the clinical thermometer is scaled from 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius or from 94 degree fahrenheit to 108 degree fahrenheit whereas 
the laboratory thermometer is generally scaled from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 100 110 degrees Celsius. And in clinical thermometer, mercury level doesn't fall on its own as there is a kink present, so the it, it prevents the fall of mercury level. But in laboratory thermometer, the mercury level falls on its own and uh, as no kink is present over there. The third point is, the temperature can be read after removing the thermometer from armpit or mouth. But here, in laboratory thermometer, it is read by keeping the thermometer in the source such as liquid or anything. Fourth point is, to lower the mercury level, jerks are given. But in laboratory thermometer, no jerks are needed. In clinical thermometer, it is used to take the body temperature while laboratory thermometer is used to take the temperature in laboratories.